Good morning, children. I am Teacher Laarni, your science teacher for today. Our lesson for today is all about the force exerted by a magnet. We already discussed about magnetism and different types of magnet. Our today's objective is to characterize magnetic force. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us have a short review. Answer activity number one. Draw a happy face if the object will attract to a magnet, and sad face if not. Let's see if you got the correct answers. Excellent! You already distinguished the objects that attract magnet. Now class, get your magnets, let's do an activity. First, place two bar magnets on the table. Then, put the north pole of the bar magnet to the north pole of the other bar magnet. Observe what happens. Next, put the south pole of the bar magnet to the south pole of the other bar magnet. Observe what happens. Now, put the north pole of the bar magnet to the south pole of the other bar magnet. Observe what happens. This time, try to move the north pole of a bar magnet towards the south pole of the other bar magnet. Observe what happened. After doing the activity, what have you observed? Let's answer the following questions. What happens when the same poles of a magnet face each other? The answer is, when the same pole face near each other, they will repel or push each other away. What happens when the opposite poles of a magnet face each other? The answer is, when the opposite pole face near each other, they will attract or pull each other together. Class, remember these facts. The force exerted by a magnet on a certain material is either push or pull, it is called magnetic force. The force exerted by it is invisible. Magnets may differ in sizes and shapes, but they all have the same properties. Look at the picture below. As you can see, most of the iron filings stick to the magnet. The place where the magnetic force of a magnet is strongest is at its ends. These ends are what we call the poles. All magnets have two poles. N stands for North Pole and S for the South Pole. When the same pole face near each other, they will repel or push each other away. When the opposite pole face near each other, they will attract or pull each other together. This illustration shows the attraction of two magnets. While this picture illustrates the repulsion of two magnets, Now class, here are some facts to remember. The force exerted by a magnet is either push or pull, or what we call magnetic force. When the poles of two magnets place near each other, it has a force that will pull them together or push them apart. Magnets have two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. When the same poles of two magnets place near each other, they repel or push each other away. When the opposite poles of two magnets place near each other, they attract or pull each other together. If you break a magnet, the force that will be exerted by it will decrease. Most of our appliances have a magnet inside them like television, radio, refrigerator, and electric fan. 
The push and pull of a magnet are called magnetism. We can use iron filings to illustrate the magnetic field of a magnet. Now, let's answer activity number two. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is wrong. Answer activity number three. Choose the letter of the correct answer. And that is the end of our lesson for today. Until next time. Goodbye.